Hello my YouTube friend, this is Now Mechanic here and today I am going to change my wall outlet and I'm going to be using this one right here the Saga Tech wall outlet I like this one because it has a USB on it has two USB and this is my kitchen area and this is where usually my visitors be at most of the time and they want to charge their phone they can do it right here or their laptop, whatever they want to do. It also comes with protection in it. The kids can't put nothing inside. Right in there. So I like this one. So I'm going to change it. Comes with two covers. But I'm not going to be using this one, the one without screws. I'm going to be using the one with the screws. And it also comes with two long screws and two little screws. And what you're going to need for the job is a Simple screwdriver, wire strippers, and a cut at the same time. And you're also going to need one of these to make sure that you turned off the bright circle breaker. So when you start this job, you have to turn off the circle breaker. Don't leave it on because it's not, you can get hurt. Also, my disclaimer is this. I am not an electrician. I'm just showing you what I'm doing to my wall outlet. So I'm going to show you what I do. The first thing that I do is I put a radio on. The reason why I put a radio on and I put it loud enough because when I hit the circle brick, I want to make sure that I shut off the right one. Also, I also have a light that's going to be on. And when I hit the circle breaker, that's how will I know. And also, I'm going to use this right here. So that's the reason why you see me plug this. So let's get this started. Let me go down there, hit the circle breaker, and we go from there. As you can see, we turned off the light. I hit the circle breaker, the light went off. So now we're going to check it. And I'm going to be using this. Plug it. You see? There's no electric current on it. Now I should show you how this works when it has electric current going through it. This, this will light up. So I'm going to show you right away. So here you go. This is the outlet that has power in it. And the other one, as you saw, it didn't have no power because I hit the circuit breaker. But this is how you would know if you have electric current going through your outlet. See how it turns on? So if you see that blinking, that means you still got electric current. We are back. No electric current going through. Now it's safely for me the cover. And you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. I mean a flathead. You're going to remove the cover out of here once you remove that screw this cover should come out easily look like you paint over it there it goes and you see see how this is all the paint over it so you see the screws here yours may not be like this so you're gonna have to try to create like a little gap here in order to put on um, your screwdriver to go in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clean this up right quick and then I'll be right back. So I took the bottom screw off. So now I'm going to take the top one off right here. You can see they painted over it. So now those two screws are off. Now, you can pull it, but I'm just going to check one more time in the side, make sure I don't have no electric, no electric current, and I'm going to pull it. Like I said, I got to be careful because they painted over it. There it goes. Yours may not be like this, so what you do is just pull it. So 
So you go, black is your power, white is your neutral. So we're gonna cut them. Got my wide cutters here. I want to get it as close as possible. These are the things you have to learn when you own a home. Learn how to do these things yourself. There you go. We cut them all. Straighten them out. And what you want to do is, in your wire cutters, you have holes, and I believe this is like a 14 or 12, I'm not really sure. Just find the proper one, and you don't want to go too deep. You want to go at least that much. You find the correct one, and you turn it, goes one. Try to make the other one the same. Two. There you go. So you got those there. Now you have your new wall outlet. You have a brown, the copper. That's for power. The white is for neutral and the green is for ground we don't have ground here this is an old home but the the box plays as a ground so what you do is you got to loosen these things up right you see it and they got four you can connect one there but you have four holes one two three four two hot two white and all i'm going to do is put the white with the white and that, she said white and hot, hot with hot, right? So this has to go up like this. So you got two on the side. So you're gonna find the two black ones first, or whichever you wanna put first. Just wanna make sure this is correctly. So in this side, I have the power. So I'm gonna put the two power ones right in. Make sure this is loose. Make sure this is straight. And you just put it right in. Make sure it's all the way back. And then push that in. Make sure black with black. Black with black. Hold it down. Make sure you tie up nice and tight screw them in really good now you take the white one put the white in make sure you go straight in make sure you push them all the way in the white ones once you got the white ones in you want to tie Screw them in nice and tight also. You don't want them to come out. And there it goes. So they're all nice and tight. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the screws. I mean you're gonna take the, the box and all you're gonna do is just push them in. Okay, so make sure you push it in, it's right in there, and you're going to do is just, you're going to put the screw that goes here, and the other screw, they gave you some new ones to put in there, So what I'm going to do, I'm going to screw this tool on and I'll be right back. So I finished screwing these two screws in here. You see how it's nice and tight, it's not moving. 
the thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put the cover right there and they supplied you two little screws same color two of them white ones so you're gonna connect you're gonna screw it from there and it's gonna go in right through this little one right here So they both scrolled in. Look at how nice it looks. It's way different than the other one. Look how pretty that looks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go hit the circuit breaker. And this light right here should turn green. If it turns green, that means we got a good connection. So you can see we have a green light. We have a good connection. So now I'm going to try a USB port just to see how it works. But you see how pretty it looks? And it was that simple to do. So there goes one right here. Look at how nice it looks. Look at how beautiful it looks. It's charging. Charging. So now you got two outlets and two USB port for when your family and friends come. They don't have to be looking for a charger. They can just charge it right on the wall. So once again, this is Non Mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below or contact me on Non Mechanic 101 at yahoo.com. That is Non Mechanic 101 at yahoo.com. And remember, if Non Mechanic can do it, you can do it. Later.